Sports. Now, let's talk about Capitol Hill. Our next guest, Martin Babinex, an independent candidate running in New York's 22nd district. He joins us from Newsmax, New York. Martin, we appreciate your time tonight on Newsmax Prime. And tell me, why did you choose to run as an independent? J.D., thanks for having me tonight. I'm ready to say that I'm running as an independent because the voters in our district are frustrated and upset with the lack of collaboration between the two parties. We've never seen the divide between the two parties as great as it is today. And the opportunity to come into Washington as a third party candidate gives me a chance to help bridge some of that divide. That divide we know has been created in part because of things like how special interest funding works. And I'm the only candidate in this race that's declined to take any special interest funding. And since I won't have to be beholden to either the special interest funding or party leadership, I can carve the path that's in the best interest of the voters. That's what I'm committed to do. And Martin, you picked up a pretty powerful endorsement. The United States Chamber of Commerce has endorsed you. I understand it's the first time the chamber has endorsed an independent candidate for Congress. So let me ask you, what does that uh, endorsement mean for your campaign? That endorsement from the U.S. Chamber is a huge victory for us. Obviously, I'm a business guy by background, having started a company in Silicon Valley from a peer startup to now a public company on the New York Stock Exchange and have wrestled with the issues of public policy even in that business as we uh, took it over the course of its history, 28 years now in the making. And so that background, the chamber could certainly appreciate. But more than that, the chamber came on board because they saw what I did in helping other people start companies and jobs. Six years ago, I began a nonprofit called Upstate Venture Connect to address the very number one issue on the minds of voters in our district. Too many of our population end up leaving. We're going to lose like a million people in upstate New York over the last 10 years. It's been a huge loss of talent. And with the path that I've been on in helping others create companies, it's taking some pages out of the playbook from places where there are lots of jobs so, being generated. So you were able to talk with. about your resume, your experience, and that's resonating. Well, there, there has been a measurement, and I know it's, uh, it's not uh, anything new to you, but to our viewers, let's, let's take a look at the Time uh, Warner Cable News and uh, poll conducted in cooperation with Siena College there in the 22nd District. Here's the way it stands right now, as I understand it. Kim Myers... Uh, has 30%. Uh, Claudia Tinney has the Republican line. She's 35%. And uh, you, Martin, are at 24%. Now, given New York's law, you are on a party line, the Upstate Jobs Party. In this final week, what's going to make the difference for you, Martin? 20 seconds. We're out there meeting as many people as I can. I would point out those poll results are a month old, and we feel we have closed that gap. This is an exciting race. I expect to win. And we know you're working hard. Martin Babinick tonight from Newsmax, New York. Thanks very much for your time. We hope to talk to you again real soon. Thanks, J.D.